Okay, so now, um, I've actually been to Osaka before but uh, this trip, I'm going to stay in Japan for 5 days and I'm going to be experiencing some other Kansai regions that I've never been to. Now, I'm going to go and collect all of the things that I booked uh, via Cloak when I was in Singapore. One of it is the JR Pass, uh, my SIM card <laughs> and my EasyLink card. So let's go! So right now, I'm going to look for the Easy Go counter in the Kansai airport. the JR uh, pass that we booked via Klook and I think it's very convenient a lot easier than we expected right yeah. and now it's like 10 13 we're gonna look for Ichiran because Ichiran is the best and we are just hungry and cold I've been to quite a few places in Japan but I've never actually visited Hiroshima before and to be honest, I would say I'm quite bad la. The only thing I know about Hiroshima is the atomic bomb uh, place which we are going to visit the site later and I'm quite excited about it. So there's this very famous like ornament over here and people are just you know offering their prayers for world peace and I think that's actually very beautiful I think it's such a nice sacred place that's why I'm speaking really really softly I'm here at the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum we're gonna go inside to check out everything you know the history and everything about this place and everything that happened it's located like right at the entrance of the Peace Memorial Park there is an admission fee but it's 200 yen and if you have the JR West Kansai Hiroshima Pass it's actually discounted at 160 but there's also a first floor that you can visit for free so that's what we're gonna do I just feel really a bit sad and emotional after stepping out of the museum I'm sure it's, it's definitely nothing compared to being present there on the day itself but you know, we really got to read a lot about um, the survivor's accounts and all of that and being able to see this myself is actually quite, I guess, overwhelming. Okay, so we can see the atomic bomb dome over here. Apparently, the explosion was right underneath this building and this building actually survived. It's actually really surreal to see in person. One time and on Google, we found this place. It's called Okonomi. Mura, which is somewhat like a food hall and we really wanted to try the famous Hiroshima Okonomiyaki So, moment of truth mm. I think this is the Hiroshima style mm. 
Wow, mm, I like it. Very young. At Hiroshima Station, and uh, we are gonna head to Kojima for a day trip today because Kojima is apparently really famous for their denim street. So now I have to take a Shinkansen, a JR train using my JR West Kansai Hiroshima Pass. Okay, we're now in Kojima, and it's like the land of Japanese jeans. This is the Betty Smith Jeans Museum and uh, we are going to be making our jeans today. Same thing, I booked this activity through Klook. So over there on Klook, you'll be able to find a lot of like activities that you can do. Train tickets, passes, even book all of your meals or anything on there and it's super convenient because you really pay online. All you have to do is show them your ticket and you're in. Okay, so we got a few sizes to try and uh, over here you can pick the kind of jeans that you want straight cut, slim cut, skinny cut uh, but of course some of them you have to pay extra money but I decided to just go with the regular cut So now we need to pick our own button and ribbons A lot to choose from Hello. Oh, who are you doing it for? My mom. <laughs> so nice, I'm doing it for myself <laughs> So I decided to go with like a red button because I don't own any jeans that have like red accents. Okay. Is that workout man? Okay. Okay. Gosh, it's so hard. I never knew like you needed so much strength. This is like an entire workout. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we have to put on this thingy, the, the tag. Um, we've got quite a lot to choose from. So the master behind is just sewing it on right now. We came all the way here for Momonoki, but it's closed. I really wanted to eat my beef and I read online that it's really good. So sad. We just walked randomly and found this place that wrote Kao Ro on the outside. So that was the only like Chinese word I could read. Let's talk it over one more time. Let's talk it over. Let's talk it over one more time. Tonight is the end of day one. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Everything you said we already knew, more or less. So here's something that you can do. Morning! Today we are heading to the Rabbit Island called Oku... Okunoshima. Okunoshima. <laughs> so that one is uh, about two and a half hours away from Hiroshima. Good news, guys. We found out that it's gonna be raining all day. So I went to read online and they said that the bunnies won't even come out if it's raining. So I decided to head back to Hiroshima. Good planning! <laughs> or maybe we can go to Osaka earlier, I don't know. It's a really chill trip. Maybe I'm gonna get a hot drink because it's quite cold today. Um, actually, I'm really, really, really glad I got the JR Pass because it brought us to so many places and even though we didn't make it to the Rabbit Island, which was really sad, but luckily we didn't get charged extra. Alright, so we have reached Amerikura. This is like an American town area-ish. I heard there's like this takoyaki place that is very famous and I'm quite determined to hunt it down. softer than our takoyaki. I can't even grab anything. I actually like the crispier outsides, you know. But the flavor is very nice. We're in Jotamburi and I always love this place for its charms. I think it's so charming. And then suddenly, right, we see like a lot of girls like around this little boy. So he must be someone famous and he's like signing autograph for everybody. Oh, he left! <laughs> oh, oopsie! 
Okay, it's this guy in orange. So he looks quite cute and he was like so friendly and nice to his fans, like writing really long messages on their handphone cases. <laughs> This girl here, right? Who doesn't eat sashimi, you know? <laughs> right, but at least you can eat ew. So she just orders ew, ew, ew. <laughs> okay, we are back in Amerikamura and we are looking for a hidden bar that's called Bar Nayuta. We have been walking around for a long time. It's really, really hidden. Eh? I think we can try this. Safe floor. It's just a symbol, but let's try. See when I got the sign? There is. Oh my gosh, we found it. There's no like uh, light because it's so dark and we waited about I would say 40 minutes just for a table uh, It's no menu so you get to just you know do a bespoke cocktail So last night was pretty fun uh, this morning, we're heading to USJ. I'm going to show you guys all the new attractions and events that they are going to be having. I'm quite excited because I love USJ. Okay, so right now we're at Shinsai Bashi Station and we have to go to the USJ station. And I have my ICOC card. This is like the Eastern card that I got it through Cook as well. So you can buy it from there and very easily just redeem it at the airport. <laughs> This place is actually really new. Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. So well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those. Okay, you guys see like a lot of people queuing up there, right? I managed to book my tickets to Club, so I don't actually have to queue up, and that's like the best thing. Once you book, okay, you get your e-ticket in your app, and you just scan and go inside the theme park. A trick for you. It just feels so like Christmassy. And of course, I have to wear some minion hair accessories. Look at that! It's like Christmas decor. Oh my god, look at this! Okay, so this is this year's Christmas edition popcorn bucket. It's so cute, right? Look at pom pom. <laughs> and I can actually smell the popcorn from here, you know. <gasps> look at that! <gasps> They're like. Mmm! Banana flavored. Check this out! <laughs> I got another one. This is available all year round. Whoa! So popcorn. What has happened to you kids? Have you forgotten the meaning of Christmas? No, father. It's just that things are different now than when you were a boy. This is 1953. parts of coming to USG. Tell you guys what happened. Look, our entire mic, like the mount, broke. I apologize for the quality of the audio for the rest of the vlog because we can't use our mic anymore. So yeah. 
today we're gonna be quite adventurous to squeezing quite a lot of things. We're starting our day with an onsen. Uh, that's the largest onsen in Japan, I think. It's called Sulaniwa Onsen in Osaka Bay Tower. And uh, I managed to book tickets through Cook, so that way we can just go in straight. And then after this, we're gonna make use of our JR Pass to the brim and we are gonna go to Kyoto and Uji before coming back to Osaka to catch our flight tonight. And we are done! That was my first ever onsen experience and I actually really really enjoyed it. I'm so glad I chose this place to come for my first time. They also have an outdoor area where you can do like foot baths and stuff. You don't actually have to get naked in those areas and I think that's like really really good for you know, people who are not very used to the whole culture, <laughs> like me. Now we're on our way to Kyoto. See you there. Made it to Osaka. Oh, Osaka. <laughs> Kyoto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cut. Made it to Kyoto. Okay, so this is my favorite, favorite, favorite place to visit in the entire Japan. Very happy and I really love how kind of like old Japanese cultural, like historical it looks. So guess who lost a JR pass yesterday? Me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thankfully, we have the Coop app. Seriously, seriously, not because it's sponsored, uh, but we're buying it right now. And we are at Kyoto Station. Gonna redeem our voucher over here with the machine. Thank God it's so convenient. And it's, there's like one day passes available, so. you guys were here to see it. I think camera really don't do it justice at all and so as with a lot of places we've been to in Japan, standing here is so surreal and nice. Uji is very famous for their matcha green tea so I'm gonna go and get some matcha dessert. Let's go. We've been walking for so long. Finally! It's apparently very famous. It has 1.6k reviews on Google so that's why we're here just to eat the matcha puffy Look at this Okay, it's finally time to go home. I've got my luggage here and we are gonna be taking the Haruka train to the Kansai airport. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I had so much fun here in Japan and it was like a short trip but it was like quite jam-packed and I did quite a lot of things. I'm quite proud. Once again, thank you to Kluk for sending us here. It was so much fun. Don't forget Kluk when you travel. There are like lots of discounts on there and a lot of great deals. So yeah. See you next time!